Welcome to The Daily Mix. I'm Angela Sharp. I hope your life is going perfect for you today. You know, I had a great weekend myself. I got to join up with some of my Firebird friends. You guys know I love my little car club and being in a whole line of Firebirds. So there we are right there getting off the highway. We actually went out to Kimswick on Saturday, which was a ton of fun. But I don't know if you remember, we had Rich Dingala on just the last show we had, right? He was talking about Route 66. He is the Missouri president of the Route 66 Historical Society. And he was telling us about a lighting of a historic Route 66 sign that has been put back to life. So of course I had to go. So this is what the sign looks like before they had it all lit up. I, I liked the sign before it was lit up, but wait, are you ready for this? You ready? Here's the next photo. Ba boom look how awesome it looks when it's lit up and also those arrows move right so it's like it goes down down and then around the arrow so much fun of course i went out there took my car as i always do and took a photo of it but of course i spent the full day with my favorite guy my dad so i had to get a great photo of my dad my face looks really weird in this photo but that is because santa claus took my photo and he made me laugh and you guys know I love Santa Claus. Anyway, I hope you also had a wonderful weekend. Now, I'm really excited about the show. We've got some great springtime activities for you. But in addition to that, I have a musical artist coming on our show. Preach is here in the studio. He's going to tell us all about his story, coming from Romania, being here in St. Louis, and everything that's happening with him. So I feel like no better time to let's get started with today's Daily Mix. Spring is in the air and there is no shortage of fun activities to get out and enjoy this weekend. That includes the return of St. Louis Earth Day Festival, the largest Earth Day Festival in the Midwest. This free family friendly event features a ton of activities, local businesses, plant friendly food options, entertainment, and so much more. This includes live music, wild bird shows, and a sustainable fashion show, all with the focus on this year's theme of climate action. The festival will take place this Saturday and Sunday at the Muni Grounds in Forest Park. You can find all the details at earthday-365.org. Of course, the City Museum is celebrating Earth Month with a variety of events. This weekend, you can create your own cardboard art masterpiece with Justin King. Now that looks amazing. There's no way I could create that. So, but this is really cool, right? He's a local artist known for his unique cardboard sculptures. Like those are just amazing out of cardboard. And the next week after that is a physical bus will be visiting the museum. This bright purple traveling science museum is filled with hands-on experiments that glow, zap, float and delight. And closing out the month of April on the 27th, artist Brock Seals will lead two workshops on the painting and preservation of leather items in the Art City area at City Museum. Oh my goodness, so much fun. For details on all of these events and activities happening this month at the City Museum, go to citymuseum.org. That should be a fun one. We've had Brock on the show before, and you know, he's really kind of known for painting sneakers and kind of doing all that fun stuff. So I feel like he really does know how to make sure you can paint the leather and make it stay. Now celebrate this season, this Sunday with a springtime art show. This free art show will feature four Benton Park artists who will be showing pieces that invoke their interpretation of spring and the beautiful architecture and neighborhoods in St. Louis. The art show will take place in the historic Atelier 1879 in Benton Park on April 21st from one to seven with a wine and cheese reception and social hour at 6 p.m. You can learn more about the event and the artist, Lisa Collins. Now that 
is right there on your, on your screen. You check that out right there. You can learn more at that long website right there on your screen. <laughs> Arch Bark returns to Gateway Arch National Park this weekend, hosted by the Gateway Arch Park Foundation and Perina. This event features various activities, including Daga, which is really dog yoga, um, the Perina Paws on Pavement Walk, and demonstrations by the Perina Incredible Dog Team. Visitors can also meet adaptable pets and learn about the Bark Ranger program responsible pet handling, and the foundation's conservation and preservation efforts. Arch Bark will take place Saturday, April 20th from 10 to 1 in the North Gateway. You can find a full schedule and more information at archpark.org. Now, applications are now open for summer jobs. Do you need a summer job? This is a youth employment program which provides valuable work experience and prepares youth between the ages of 14 and 24 for tomorrow's careers. Each youth is paired with a job coach and receives paid on-the-job training. The program is funded by the American Rescue Plan Act and aims to increase access to employment for hundreds of city youth. To learn more and to apply, visit stlouis-mo.gov. Registration is also open for the 19th annual St. Louis Cardinals Kids Clinic presented by Quick Trip. Now each year the clinics provide boys and girls from 7 to 13 with a chance to learn baseball fundamentals from a former Cardinals player and some coaches too. Each participant will receive a goodie bag with a Cardinals t-shirt and hat, a signed baseball by the alumni instructors, and a voucher for two tickets to a select home game. The half-day clinics run from June 5th through August 6th at a variety of locations. You can find the full schedule, register, and more at cardinals.com slash clinics. Okay, now I know I mentioned it the last show we had, right? Kelly Chase put on this fundraising event called Puck Cancer, and it was an event where some of your favorite alumni players came together to play. Obviously, you had a bunch of Blues fan favorites, but Chris Chelyhost was there, Garth Brooks was there. I mean, so many people were there. So I figured I'd show you a little bit of what you missed if you didn't get to check it out. Okay, a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Kelly Chase. Thank you so much for joining Chaser. us. Chaser, here you are. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you guys for coming, and uh, what a setup. It's exciting. It's going to be an exciting night. Well, let's kind of talk about this. I mean, I've heard you in various interviews talking about this night coming together. How did this all happen? Um, originally, I think we just we wanted to try and do our best to play a game and and do our best to, you know, raise some money for Sightman's and just kind of plug some holes and and research that they had and then I didn't you know how do you just try and not make it just the same as every other alumni game you play right. and nobody wanting to watch a bunch of old guys not move out there <laughs> so we decided we were going to do something really special really cool make two halves to the game make uh, bring some entertainers and and athletes and performers together and I just called a few of my friends well of course I had to come over here and talk to Brett Hall who is one of the coaches of this interesting team yeah this is uh it sucks back here it's way more fun being up there would you rather be taking taking a couple shots yeah absolutely <laughs> that was kind of uh, shots on the ice what? that's what i'm saying shots on the ice we're having a, we're having a couple shots back here but oh you're taking those shots already everyone's having the time of their lives and it's for a great cause we're trying to find a cure for such a awful disease and uh it, it doesn't pick favorites. You know, Kelly told me, he, he asked the doctor when they, he found out he had leukemia, and he goes, Doc, you know, how did I get it? And he goes, bad luck. Now, I know you and Chase are friends, so I'm guessing when this came up, you were like, I want to be a part of it. Oh, absolutely. You know, and it's not just me, it's everybody. Think about all the guys and where they're from and that never even played for the Blues that said, you know, we're here, we want to support our family, and that's what we are. You know, there was something on the chalkboard once, and it said, uh, win tonight, and we live together forever. How cool is this that you get to stand right here by Mr. Twist? Now, we've, we've heard the story that you were going to break Chase out 
Okay, you were willing to do that in the middle of the night. Well, of course. The only question I had for him is he got anything hooked up. Everything was good after that. Like we've always said, we all stick together. It's past or present. The Alumni National Hockey League, and it's all guys, the tightest group you're going to find. There's got to be some people over there that you want to fight. Not single one, except for that long-haired guy that Cowboy had. I think might have something to bone to pick with him. Dirk Bentley's got the happiest feet I've ever seen. He might be able to sing, but skate? Oh, my. Oh, no. You're going to call out Dirk? He's over there. I'm going to have to go get him here in a minute. Yes, he's only a Dirk when he's skating. He'll be Dirk's when he's out of wheel. I was just talking to Tony Twist, and he said Dirk Bentley has the happiest feet I've ever seen. I don't think it was a compliment. No, he said earlier, or maybe Dan's coach Dan said, uh, it says Bentley on the back, but it rides like a Prius, so... That uh, definitely was, uh, I think that was an insult, but I'll... I think it might have been an insult. In fact, I think he's calling you Dirk while you're playing and you're Dirks when you're singing. Oh, right, right. No, Dirk is uh, Dirk's doing the Dirk is doing the best he can out there, but uh, having a great time. It's so fun to be out with these guys. Playing and with, like, Dirk Sean Bentley. Payton's there. Right. Sean, Coach Payton's, <laughs> I asked him if he, uh, I said, you're going to be on the bench with Garth Brooks and you're going to be on the bench with Tony Granado. You okay with that? Okay with that? He goes, head. He goes <laughs> I don't mind it as long as they're okay being assistant coaches. I don't okay. care. So I met Kelly four years ago. He and I have become real close. Dude, I've had him talk to our team. I'm from Illinois, so coming back here was a little bit like coming home. Yeah. And when he gave me the dates, I was like, look, I'll be there. And I'm not really familiar with coaching. The only thing I'm familiar with is tonight's game is, is going to have two halves and there's a halftime. So I felt comfortable with that. The substitutions, we'll get it figured out. I was going to say that, that the ice is a little bit free, but I did hear... When you heard Garth Brooks was going to be with you, you said that's fine as long as he's cool being the assistant coach. So you're the head coach? Well, I, listen, that, that's what I was told. <laughs> but certainly I'm smart enough to acquiesce to anybody who's got good ideas. I can't tell you how much fun I had, obviously, hanging out with all those alumni players, but obviously it raised money for a great cause, but it was a great time. And by the magic of television, I am now joined by Preach. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much, Angela, for having me. You and your staff are wonderful, and I'm so happy to be here. Thank well, you. Well, we're happy to have you here, well, so let's you. talk a little bit about you, Preach. Now, Preach has little dots in between yes. it, so does that mean these mean something? That's correct, that's correct. I'm so glad you asked. A lot of people ask me, so what do the dots stand for? Uh -huh. So Preach is a name I acquired in the neighborhood as a young child. I said, man, you're so charismatic, you sound like a wise soul. Well, we're gonna call you Preach. So I said, that's fine, but what does Preach mean to me? So Preach is an acronym that stands for Peacefully Respect Everyone Amongst Continuous Hate. It's like my personality and my heart inside out. So. Oh, I yeah. love that. Now, what Thank would you. you say your genre of music is? So my genre of music, Music is, uh, I'm, I consider myself a universal uh, international recording artist. I would say it's a mixture between hip hop, alternative rock, a little bit of grunge rap. So it's it's a little bit of uh, East Coast, West everything. Coast meets you in the middle. That's right. So like a Midwest, like a Midwest just uh, a variety of everything. We are eclectic. kind of a hodgepodge here, aren't we? Exactly. So that kind of makes sense. Exactly. How long have you been in the music game? So I've been in the music game. Uh, I cut my first cassette tape when I was 14 years old. Stop. So I would say, yeah. Yeah, I was 14 years old, but I would say I started really taking it serious around 2000 and 2002. Uh, so I'd say about 20 years, close to 20 years I've been doing music. It's just a passion of mine, and it's, I feel like I can't escape it. So uh, <laughs> when did you realize that you might actually be really good at this? Well, I really started realizing when I'd go to events, I'd go to house gatherings, and people were like, man, you're insane. Your charisma, your, 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 your fast enunciation, and it's, they were just like, man, you're, you're just incredible. You, you really have something. And you know, even strangers would come up to me and say, hey, I just wanted to tell you something. You're amazing. You have something so special about you don't stop. So you know, I, always, I always felt like I had something there, and I just ran with it, and I just kept practicing, and perfect repetition makes right. perfect practice. So. Well, let's talk about mm -hmm. that, because you said people comment on your enunciation. Oh, yeah. You are not originally English-speaking. No, it's not my first language. So my family's from Romania originally. My father's Hungarian, my mother's Romanian, and I was born um, in, a, in a city called Oradia. So on a northwest tip, right outside of Transylvania. So I moved to the United States. My family were first generation. We moved over in 1991 of September, and I was a young lad. I was six years young when I moved over. 
Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you had to learn. Oh gosh, yeah. How to speak English oh, yeah. and then probably enunciate better than some oh, of us. Oh, for do. sure, Angela. <laughs> oh yeah. People are like, man, are you kidding me? I was born here, and you have a better diction than I do. But uh, it, it's been a great journey. It's been a great journey. And you know, I'll tell you a fun story. As as children, you pick up on a language a lot faster. Even though I'd make the mistake of calling clouds clowns and mixing words up, but the kids used to throw rocks at my window, and I didn't understand. They were they were saying, hey, come out and play with us. Oh. And from then on, it was it was. We hit the ground running, cops and robbers, hide and go seek, right. swimming in my buddy's pool. And uh, it's, it's been a wonderful journey. And I'm just grateful that my family was able to come over here to give us a better life. So That is amazing. Yeah. Do you know why they chose St. Louis? Um, it's really interesting. So my mom and dad, you know, my dad always, uh, being from Romania, everyone looks at the West as, oh, my goodness, freedom. And right. my dad got his visa approved after 11 years. And we came here, and they had an option to go, I believe, to the West Coast, Portland and Oregon, or to stay in the Midwest. And to be honest with you, they just, something in their heart told them stay in the Midwest. And I'm glad we stayed in the Midwest. You're glad you did. I now, love it. we've been talking about your, your music and what yes. style that is, but you've opened up for some pretty big names. Oh, gosh, yeah, for everyone from Machine Gun Kelly to, uh, I have records with Tech 9 I was on his game. Mix played album. I have a placement. It's my one of my biggest accolades. My good friend Jelly Roll, who we are all rooting for, he's doing big things right now. Uh, my manager Chris, he's here with me. We actually went on a tour with him back in 2017 and did six cities. And here's the thing: I didn't get a chance to tell a lot of people. I actually have a song with Jelly, of course, before his success. It's called Roof on Fire. So you guys can YouTube it. Stop! Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Like, so in 2017, <laughs> that's what a couple years before Jelly really. A couple started years before he started. To launch and so he always had a good prominent name in the underground hip-hop world but then I'd say about 2021 is when he started propelling and then yeah he, he uh, came across some good people that uh, were able to take his career and just make him the uh, gigantic lovable guy that he is. He well, really he's is. very lovable, he so really that, that does work. He but really you is. also have a really charismatic personality. You. you really do. You come in with a lot of energy. Thank you. Thank you so so much. What are you hoping for your career? So I'm hoping the same thing. You know, I'm hoping that the hard work that I've put in over the years would allow me to continue to have a voice. I really do music out of love. You know, if I did it for monetary value, I would have stopped a long time for ago. For sure. <laughs> you know, there's no monetary value, I feel, that you could put on having an impact on people's lives. So as long as I continue to, to reach one, teach one, and people come up and say, preach, your, your music saved my little brother over the summer, or hey man, we're, we're, you know, we're in Effingham, Illinois, and we wake up to you every day drinking coffee. To me, that's what it's about. I love it, and I hope that I could stay with it, and next thing you know, we're, I'm doing a tour back in Romania here in the next two years, God willing. So. That is amazing. Uh, now, we're showing a clip of one of your music videos. What music video was that? So the music video was called Spirit in a Box, which is produced by my good friend down from Louisiana, Jason Arrow. We call him Cloud Nine Beats. <laughs> it's a wonderful track. My buddy Adrian's doing a guitar. I took my time with it, but it's, it's, it's a, a massive record that I feel is one of those records that can really propel my career. Now, you there. said you've been working for the sex record uh, with some really people that oh, yeah. a lot of people know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of heavyweight St. Louis hard hitters that have been very pivotal to guys like Nelly. They've worked with everybody in the industry from Tim McGraw. Uh, I'm working with a gentleman by the name of Jason Bridges. We call him Coco. He produced uh, Tim McGraw's Over and Over. Oh, He's a yes. Grammy winner. He won a Grammy for Shake Your Tail Feather for the Bad Boys soundtrack. Uh -huh. I've had a pleasure to work with J.E., um, a lot of producers from St. Louis and all over, you know, we're just in cahoots with one another and we believe in one another. So it's a beautiful thing when the guys, the big dogs from the city say, you know what, we believe in you. We're going to back you up anything we could do to help. All well, for one, one for all, Angela. Yeah. That's my motto, like the Musketeers. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I mean, that's that's a big deal for when you sure. get those people to kind of notice you and be like, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can make you oh, yeah. take it to the next Absolutely. level. Absolutely. So when we listen to the song, we're going to listen to it in the okay. credits today. What kind of vibe does this so song So the vibe get? that, so Spirit in a Box came about, I was, I was really, you know, we all go through hardships and we all go through grief. And grief is a very interesting thing to describe because it hits us in waves. You know, we all feel loss and it's, it, it hurts tremendously. But when you lose somebody, as I did, one of my close friends, well, a, a brother outside of music and music, he passed away on my birthday. Um, oh, which he was one of my biggest influences. So when I was writing these records, I wrote these records thinking my spirit is in a box. You know, I just have to put that, that, that feeling inside that box and kind of just let it evaporate because I want to remember my friend the way he was when we we're around each other. I'm, I'm just very happy that God was able to put us around each other and we were able to spend that time together. So that's kind of how I've changed my oh, mind frame. Yeah. So the song Spirit in a Box really just 
you know, just, just brings about emotion and uh, it's for everyone. I wrote the record for everyone that's going through it to say, you know what, you're a human being, you should own that feeling and it's okay. It's okay, we're all going we're all through, gonna we're get through we're it. We're gonna get through it. Today was today, tomorrow's tomorrow, and guess what, troubles don't always last. So I love, I like that, it. troubles yeah. don't always last. That's it. That's it. Is there anything that I've missed that you feel like people watching today really need to know about you? Um, to be honest with you, Angela, I just, I, I, I love being with the people. I hope to run into everybody this summer, so they're gonna catch me at a lot of outings. Uh, I, I did wanna let you know that I did write a jingle as well. One thing I'm working on, what? I wrote a jingle. It's not a song, but it's a Bush Stadium jingle. It's a Bush Stadium jingle. I brought it for you. I, I wanted to keep it a surprise. Oh. It is a Bush Stadium jingle. I've been getting a, a lot of feedback from different demographics, different age groups, and they're wowed by it. So I think we could shake the city up. But one thing I want to leave the people with is love each other, continue to be wonderful to one another, because guess what? Life is short. Yes. And if we can make an impact even this much on one another, we're winning. We're winning. So I just want the people to continue to just don't be afraid to come out the box and have conversations. Less phone, more of this. Oh yes, absolutely. I agree with that. You know, and I got, I'm a, you know, we can all be <laughs> we, a little. We addicted, have to be on the but social we media. We need this. We need this. So if I could leave them with that, I say, hey, don't be afraid to interact with one another because you might learn something beautiful that might tell you it's okay to be you because you should always be yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we talked about, you know, getting off the phone, but you are on social media. So what social media are you I am. on? I am on all social media platforms. So uh, it's at PreachSTL. I kept it simple so that way you guys don't have to type in the dots. So Facebook, Instagram, my YouTube channel is all at PreachSTL. And also you can check out my website, which has all my, you know, my biography, discography, even a merch store. It's PreachSTL.com. Now, I do see you also have a TikTok. I do. Right, what are we doing on TikTok? So TikTok, I'm, I've been doing a lot of reels. I see how the game is changing. Yeah. They're going from no more three minute videos. Yes. They're going to like 30 second, 20 second clips. So I'm just trying to keep up with the cool crowd. Trying to keep yeah, up with it. the people. And, I, and again, that website one more time, because I'm Preach sure that's where people STL. can find everything. PreachSTL.com, your Romanian brother from another. <laughs> out of I South love City. it so much. It. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Angela. It's been a pleasure. We're so Thank happy. You. Now make sure you follow Preach on all the social media channels so you can see there's a tour coming up down the line, right? Yeah. So we got to gear up. You got to check good, out. You're good, Angela. Know, right? You're good. It's called the Whiskey Nights Tour. My manager Chris has been kind enough to help me um, get some dates together. So we're still kind of, you know, filling in the dates. But uh, be on the lookout and make sure to check the website for a city near you. Whiskey Nights Tour, I'm coming to see you. Yeah, see, we got that yes, up sir. there right now. And yeah, definitely keep up with him on his website so you can see Winnie's going to be close to you. Again, thanks so much. Now, Thank after you, you follow Preach on all his social media channels, right there on your screen, and check out his website, you can also follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. X is really what they call it, but I still call it Twitter. It's fine. We got YouTube. We have it all. You can also drop us a line at stltv.net. We want to hear from you. And like I said, we're going to go to these credits with your song, Spirit in the Box. Let's do it.